which means no more stressing over school and due dates and all of that terrible adult things that you do in college. And yeah, I've spent my summer doing some stuff like trying to socialize, working around the house, watching TV shows such as Mari, doing a little bit of self-care and some treat yourself dates, trying to do art, binge watching YouTubers, trying to do makeup and realizing that you can't do makeup. You're just a bad makeup queen. And stealing a mystical ball. Well, but that's not important. What highlighter does she use? It's sweat and pain. The only problem is I don't really do all of this all at once. I tend not to be a scheduled person once all the pressures of getting things on time and having time limits have just whisked away. And I end up not being as productive as I want to be. Like legit, like literally in the beginning of summer, I, after I got out of college, I legit had a plan of stuff I wanted to do. This pie chart basically shows what I was planning to do during this summer break. Is, as you can see, the whatever this color is, I think it's teal. The teal is having adventures, making the best out of life before I become an old, sad, basically me most of the time this right here is you know hanging out with family hanging out with friends the red you know getting a job learning communication skills getting experience in the workplace this black spot right here which is me just doing nothing and sad and here is the reality which is kind of sad as you can see the all this gray area has invaded, which shows that I spend most of my time doing nothing. But I never said what the blue was, was it? Yeah, I know that usually tends to happen during three months of summer. I know, for some of you, this is usually a common thing, like... Oh, Liz, it's okay. I mean, people usually get into that state of nothingness after having a three-month-old vacation. I mean, that's a long time. For you guys who got to have that... Bless you. So you guys got to have that benefit of turning stress into boredom. Because once you get to that state of boredom and not knowing what to do, that means you're stress-free. You're free of worries. But here's the thing. Because back in the day, I, I didn't get to have that three-month vacation thing. And another thing, when you're young, you always have that summer kid stress, which is... Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I mean, I can't stay in the house all day. I need to go out somewhere. I need to have fun. And there's adult stress. That adult stress tends to happen when, you know, you have too much time on your hands and you're at that point when you're just chilling and then you just get hit with that realization that What am I doing with my life? I mean, here I am sitting on my computer looking at lame cat videos while, while all of my friends are out there probably getting a successful job and getting work experience. You know what? I should be doing that. Oh my god. I mean, I'm just wasting my time. Yeah. That's, that's not good. <laughs> and yet somehow, even in your free time, procrastination comes to you and you just end up. So this thing needs to be filled out in 30 days. Well, that's a long time. <laughs> oh my god, I missed the deadline. Darn you, BuzzFeed and your bread quizzes. Which is not good. That's, that's not good. I need to learn how to get rid of that. Oh, side note, by the way, I bought this Beatles calendar and it's really nice because it's got pictures of John. Oh, John. But on the June month, they have this picture, and every time I look at it, Paul just gives this weird stare. What do you want from me, Paul? What do you want from me? <laughs> First world problems featuring Liz. I'm gonna try to make the best out of it. At least it's still the beginning of summer. I can try to make the best out of it if I can. Hopefully it won't go bad. That's it, you guys. I know this was pretty simple and short, but you know, I try to do, you know, this kind of thing for a change, like skits and stuff, so. Yeah, so hope you guys like this short little update video. You know, if you guys want, why don't you guys just check out my last video, which talks about what happened on one of the few last days of college, and I kind of rant a lot. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this, leave, remember to leave a like and click on the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.